and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually pretty excited because the trailer for The Sims 4 Discover University did drop earlier today. Um, I know I'm a bit late to the game, but I did work today and I just got home, so I haven't watched the trailer yet because originally I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing a trailer reaction just because I've done a few of them and... I don't know, it really just depends. Everyone has their own opinions of things, and I did a poll on Twitter, and you guys wanted me to do a trailer reaction, so that is what we are going to be doing today. Um, forgive my face, I'm not wearing any makeup. When I go to work, I usually don't wear makeup, so yeah, forgive me. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to watch the trailer. We're just going to watch it, you know, as is. It's a minute and 24 seconds, so we're just going to watch it straight through, and then I'll go back in and kind of analyze things and take a deeper look at things and see what it has to offer. So without further ado, let's check out the trailer for The Sims 4 Discover University. Woo! never saw this coming. By Sir Cool. Oh hey cool! to say I think this trailer has the most in it that I've seen in a while in The Sims 4 like it had so much gameplay in it and I am actually getting to be excited for this pack so originally when I heard that University was coming out like two weeks ago when it leaked um, honestly I wasn't that excited for it because I feel like a lot of the things in The Sims 4 will never live up to The Sims 3 and The Sims 2 and Sims 3 and Sims 2 University was my favorite. So I did have a lot of bias and a lot of high standards when it came to this, but I'm actually pretty excited for this just from the trailer. I mean, I'm not going to get my hopes up too much because obviously we don't know a lot of information about it just yet, but I am definitely excited to see what this pack has to offer. So let's go ahead and rewind it up and take a look kind of um, bit by bit and see what we have going on in this pack. So from the start, it looks like we have a pretty decent view of the world. It looks really cool. It looks like the typical university place that we would go to. Um, I really, really like this where they have the new easel, obviously. Um, and there's Sims that are out here sketching and maybe this guy right here is what it looks like. He's kind of like standing there, baby posing. Um, I do love her outfit. I love all of the new hairs that I've seen. The new outfits look really cool as well. Um, so let's take a look. So, um, let's see. Right there. Her hair and her hair looks really awesome. I love her outfit. It looks really, really good. Um, <laughs> looks like we have maybe some, like, activities. I, I mean, obviously there's soccer, but I don't know if there's other, like, sports activities or if there's, like, a sports campus or school because it looks like there was like a robotics school and maybe like a political one so i don't know how many school there's or schools there are going to be um and if they strictly are like different things that they do like robotics or engineering or something like that then you have like the political businessy one and then a sports one i don't know if that's a true statement or not but it's definitely interesting that that is the route that they are going with this is what it seems like anyway also bikes 
I'm actually pretty excited for bikes. I have to admit, I was never someone that wanted cars in The Sims 4. I just feel like the aesthetic wouldn't fit because it is such a closed world. But I think bikes are a really great idea. Are bikes able to be used everywhere? I don't know. Is it strictly going to be in this university world? I do not know. That is probably what's going to happen because a lot of things in The Sims 4 tend to be dependent on where you are. So I hope that's not the case. I hope we're able to use bikes everywhere, but I am excited to have bikes. I hope they're not going to be super glitchy um, and have routing issues. So we'll definitely see. Also, this guy in the background here has like kind of like a robotics type of outfit. I don't know. Or if that's like a guard or something like that. I do love all the greenery that you can see in this frame as well. Ugh. I just love like the landscaping is so pretty I love the brick I love kind of the older type of stone buildings that they have going on it seems like we have a guy that's jogging here as well uh, this coming um, this is kind of like you know the title screen um, but yeah you can see some other people are just hanging out in the quad area or like the main area that they hang out in I can't tell if this is a food stall or a photo booth I have a feeling it looks to me like a photo booth. It looks a little different than the typical food stalls look. Obviously, I don't know for sure. It could just be a small shop that's in the quad. I am unsure. But it'd be really cool if we had the uh, photo studio station thing again where they go in and take pictures with friends and you can potentially can woohoo in there. That's also pretty cool. Um, but we have one of the mascots here. I don't know all the names of the universities like I mentioned or how many there are. I think there may be three, but I'm unsure. Um, but it looks like he's kind of socializing with other people in the university. This looks really awesome. So one question that I have is if all of the different schools are going to be in the same world or not. In the past, they've always been separated. Each school was their own world. Don't know how that's going to be this time around. Um, you can kind of see different architect architecture between these three buildings. Like I would say this is maybe like the robotics one. This looks like a businessy one. I'm unsure what this one is or this one back here or if it's just for show because The Sims 4 does that a lot. Like all of these houses back here are probably not usable. Um, but yeah, see here's this like station again. I can't, I don't know if it's a food store or what that is, but it's really cool. Um, looks like there's some banners down here. Maybe this is like an area that has like festival-y type things or like random occurring um, events that happen as well. They have like a little picnic table out here. Someone else is biking. Oh, I love this. I love the architecture in this pack. It looks so good. I am such a fan of it. Um, I just, I really, really like the aesthetic. I love that we have mascots. That makes me so happy. Obviously, there's are two mascots for different schools. Um, I am unsure of which one they belong to because they have like the matching clothes to the mascot. So maybe there are like some rivalries that go along. Also, I am obsessed with her hair. It's a little glitchy right here because like the frame is a little glitchy because it's going in and out. Um, but her hair is so cute. I love it. Yeah! That is so cool. Um, we have kind of a closer up look at one of the main-ish Sims in the pack. I love her outfit. It's very university-like. I love that she has her little helmet on. I wonder if the helmet is optional or not. I am unsure, but she's kind of riding over this like bridge, maybe going between school campuses. I don't really know. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So University of, oh God. Brit Chester, Brit Chester. I don't know. I don't know. Um, again, you have another frame of some more people playing soccer out here. So I don't know if it's just kind of like they pass the ball to each other, or if there's actually like a soccer goal and they play actual soccer games. That'd be really cool. I'd be a really big fan of that. Come on. Like a boss. Um, here again, we have kind of the two rivaling school, the dragony dude, and then like the lobster thing. So this is kind of like, seems like a political debate um, between the two schools, which I think this is really cool that this is a feature in the game. And we have kind of the students here that are kind of intermingled. This girl's wearing purple, so I don't know if purple is its own school or not. But I love the emotion in this. Like obviously maybe he said something to upset her or she messed up or something and clear, clearly she got upset and like stormed off. Which is really cool. This girl's hair, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with her hair. I love it so much. I also love the overall look. I saw a lot of like overalls in this, which I think are so cool. Kid magic. Um, but yeah, this is the guy I was talking about. I can't tell if this is part of like the robotics 
quote unquote school or if he's like a guard for the university i'm unsure again we have another view of some more overall i really like this girl's dress and her hair is super cute this guy also has a new hair as well so foxbury institute interesting so this is the red one it's interesting that for foxbury they didn't make the mascot a fox hmm um, I think this is the Lobster University, but yeah, I don't know. I would have totally gone for Foxbury, a freaking fox, but whatever. So this is the one to me that looks like robotics or engineering or like computer development or software development. I really like that they brought back like the sim bots. I don't know if they're going to be functional sim bots like you had in The Sims 3 where they could actually be part of your family and do things for you. I'm unsure, but I like the idea of having sim bots back. All of this stuff looks really cool. There's a bunch of like VR high techy type of stuff. Can you move it like this? No. But I just, oh, this is so cool, Simbots, man. Yeah, I'm curious to know if they're going to be part of the family or if it's just like an interaction, you know. Ooh, wait, <gasps> he has a piercing. I didn't notice that before. Oh my gosh, are we getting piercings? That's cool. I have a literal piercing in my game that looks like this, that's CC. That's really cool if we're going to be getting in-game, like, piercings. Maybe we'll be getting more tattoos and, like, one thing that I really want is, like, small tattoos to, like, get on your like, arm or, like, your hand or your foot or your back or something like that. A lot of the tattoos that we have in this game are just so large and gawky that I feel like we need little dainty tattoos to just make it look really cool. I love that we're getting piercings. I did not see that the first time I watched this. <laughs> Oh, honey, that's really sad. That is really sad. But we do have stall bathrooms, which is pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of builders are going to have a lot of fun with this because whenever we go to lots and things like that, like I always think it's weird that they just have the regular bathrooms that you have to build, but you can do stall bathrooms now. So I'm, I can't tell if it's a three by four. Or I can't tell what the dimensions are, but it looks really, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Oh, and you have this girl like consoling her. That's so sweet. And you have the different banners in the background as well. Aww. Um, so it looks like people from different schools are kind of combining and kind of helping each other out, which is really cool. I'm interested to know if they're going to be like school rivalries or like pranking. I know there was like a frame of them pranking look like a book in the main quad area but i don't know if that's going to be like just you know against the school or if they're able to like prank the different um like universities institutes whatever in between that'd be really cool this looks really cool of course we have the typical bar that is in every sims 4 world oh my gosh i am excited to have um table tennis back i wonder if it's gonna be like beer pong or juice pong or if it's just gonna be table tennis i mean it's college university whatever i'm sure they'd probably have to have um beer pong juice pong whatever i do like this bar i really like the glass at the top there i really like these as well i can't remember if these were already in the game or not um it looks like these have like the bar has like taps like beer taps that's really interesting that's a nice little detail to add i love her shirt and her hair super cute i love all of the university stuff there's this guy again i don't know who this guy is it's driving me crazy that i can't figure out who this guy is i have no idea what he's supposed to be uh wait go back um so this girl has a bunch of different piercings <gasps> I didn't notice that either. So we're getting new tattoos. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted cute little dainty tattoos. I am actually extremely, extremely excited about getting piercings. Like, honestly, I would get this pack. I mean, obviously, I want university and to, like, explore all of that stuff as well. But it's really awesome that we're getting tattoos and piercings. Like, that is something that I have wanted in this game for so long because I always use CC ones. But now I'm not going to need my CC ones, you know? So that's really cool. That is, yeah, I really love her outfit. She's super cute. Um, also, go back. This guy, he looks like the guy from Strangerville. And I don't know if that's a coincidence or if it's the same guy. 
I am unsure, but they look the exact same. Just putting that out there. Um, we can kind of get, I like her hair as well. It's really cute. This guy just looks really cool. Oh, he has a small tattoo as well. Nice. Go. That was cute. This looks, I can't tell if this, because this is obviously a jukebox. I can't tell if this is also a type of radio thing or if this is like a bot that was created by the robotics people. But yeah, in this view, you can really see he looks just like the guy from Strangerville. I don't know what's up with that. Why does he look like the same dude? No idea. Um, so it looks like we had a frame of some laptops. We're getting new laptops, um, some like books and decor. Uh, it looks like they're doing homework or schoolwork. I wonder if we're going to have like term papers again. Ah, uh, the uh, fated kegger. <laughs> I love, I love, I use these, if you watch my Sims 3 Let's Plays, I use these all the time in my parties. It's so bad. It's so stereotypical, but I use them all the time. Also, her classes are really cool. I don't know if that's like a VR thing, but that's really, really cool. <laughs> um, so it looks like we have some type of display. I love the decor in this room. It looks like a new wallpaper. This whole shelving looks no, new. These are super cute little planters. The desk looks new as well. I think this might be a new bed. Um, we have a mini fridge. I love this unicorn thing. I would have this in my room. That's really cute. Um, I think this is maybe a new TV. This is new, new painting. I like it. I like the aesthetic. Y'all, y'all, we're getting shower woohoo. The fact that it took how long has the sims 4 been out three years whatever the fact that it took this long this long for us to have shower woohoo is absurd absurd like it baffles me that we are just now getting shower woohoo i don't know if this is going to be strictly to university or this is going to be added in a patch before university because there's always a pretty big patch that comes out before new packs so i'm unsure if this is going to be for everyone or if this is strictly to university, I would hope it's for everyone, but you never know. Um, this looks like a new shower either way. Whoa. I love that. Where is it? Wait, this guy. <laughs> I love this. I saw this originally. That was really cute. Uh, but it looks like we have like stall showers as well, which is really cool. Um, and we have some lockers, but this, this is just so funny. Saw this. She showed him, and they're doing some type of, I don't know if that's a school cheer or what it is that they're doing, but it's really cute. Yeah, this is the prank that I was talking about. So yeah, it looks like everyone from like intermingling schools are here. So I don't know if this is just a generalized prank that they can do or if they can prank each other. I really hope that we're able to prank each other because that'd be really cool. <laughs> And we have graduation. So it looks like we have a graduation party going on, which I'm really excited to see how graduation is going to be, if it's just going to be a rabbit hole. I assume it's going to be a rabbit hole. Um, it'd be really cool if we were able to actually see graduation. That would be something that would be really new to a Sims game because they've always been rabbit holes. So that would be really cool. Oh, I like her dress and her shoes. That's really cute. But I'm wondering how many majors there are. I wonder if they can have minors. I wonder how long the terms are themselves. I believe they were, what, a week? I can't remember. They may have been a week. I don't know. Um, so I'm interested to see if they have, like, term papers, how much homework they're going to have, how many classes they're going to have at a time, how many credits they can have at a time, if it's going to be, like, a sliding scale like it was before. Um, if they can have double majors, double majors would be really, really cool. Um, I'm also wondering if, like, after they graduate, if they'll have, like, job prospects just sent to them, like it has in the past, where you'd start at, like, I think level two or level three of a career. Like, you wouldn't start at level one because you already have that degree and you're going in, you know, ahead of other people. So that's really cool. This guy maybe looks like a professor. She also looks like she may be a professor, too. <laughs> Ah, yes, okay, we are getting Juice Pong back. Nice. See, there's this little robot dude again. Oh, it's a sim, um, a sim bot. Like, that's what I'm wondering. Like, are they actually part of the household? Or, I really don't know. I'm really curious about the sim bots. But this little robot dude, he's cute. I like him. I want to know more about that, that, that little robot dude. I'm, I'm into him. Um, but yeah, that is kind of my... Oh, I just clicked something. Whoops. <laughs> I just clicked the trailer for another... 
thing. But either way, that is my kind of overview and reaction of the trailer for The Sims 4 Discover University. Um, did it show a release date? It did not. Interesting. So when does it come out? Hmm. I think someone said November 15th. I'm not sure. What? Is that a Friday? Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to pull up my calendar real quick. Um, yeah, November 15th is a Friday. I'm, I'm going to assume November 15th because originally I thought November 11th, but that's a Monday and they typically come to, they typically tend to come out on Fridays. So I'm going to say the 15th. Um, if you know for sure, let me know in the comments. Most likely by the time this is uploaded, I'll have it in the description as to when it's supposed to come out. I believe it's November 15th. Don't quote me though. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this pack. I'll admit it's definitely surprised me. Um, I'm really interested to see the rest of the gameplay and a little more information about it, but I will definitely be doing a let's play on this pack um, because it's it looks really cool and it looks like something that I'll definitely be using a little more frequently throughout my gameplay, especially if I have like a generations thing or if I have a legacy where they're going to be going for several generations. Who knows? We may be going to university several times, which is really, really cool. So I'm excited to dive in to Discover University. Thank you guys so much for all the love and for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this expansion pack down below if you guys are interested in it as well or if I there was something in the trailer that I didn't catch on to that you did, definitely let me know. But I hope you all have an amazing Tuesday and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys. Be careful what you wish for.